Hello, this is Chip from 5th Edition Visions, and I'm here to talk about something that I found on the internet that makes me love the Magic the Gathering community. And you're probably not expecting what it is. Uh, let me tell you. So, I had to uh, do some self-improvement. I needed to improve my mathematical uh, reasoning, my mathematical skills for an exam I, I had to take for work. And I wanted to see how, how my math stacked up, because that's not something I excelled at um, during my school years, and I took the least amount of math as I had to in college. So I wanted to say, well, how is my math? So I did these different uh, word problems at this website. I'm not going to name the website, but it was a website where I could practice math skills and identify my gaps and give me little mini lessons. So it was great. And as I took these little uh, math problems, there were numeric problems, but then there were many word problems. And while many of the word problems just seemed like generic word problems, guess what I noticed? Well, I noticed one word, and I, I don't know the word problem, but I know the characters in the word problem. These are two I completely remember. So one word problem, and I'm simplifying it. It was much more complicated, but it was, you know, a Johnny is walking through the forest with five quarts of milk. How many cat warriors uh, can he feed if they eat, drink, you know, one quart of milk a day? Um, so a <laughs> Johnny was a person in the word problem. And I thought, what? What? Get out. Maybe that's a coincidence. But then guess what? Like two problems later, it was Liliana is trying to raise a zombie army and she needs, you know, X number of zombies to conquer something. So how many zombies does she need to raise in X amount of time? You know, something it involved Liliana uh, finding how many zombies she had to raise. So that's, be that's beyond coincidence. Okay, so you have two word problems. One's talking about a Johnny. And one is talking about Liliana raising zombies. So that's it. So the, whoever wrote those word problems was, uh, was fluent in Magic the Gathering. Now, most people who were doing those math exercises probably missed out on that. And maybe there were other word problems with little inside jokes that, that I wasn't privy to. But I was privy to those because anybody who plays Magic the Gathering, at least today, um, is familiar with those characters. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, that I had this connection with this uh, word problem creator, um, who I had never, whom I had never met, and um, but they had put Magic the Gathering characters in there, and so as the Magic as the Magic the Gathering community grows, I think it's neat that you have these pockets of people who come from a variety of backgrounds, a variety of other outside interests, but we have that common cultural knowledge of one, the Magic the Gathering story, which Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast is now pushing to the forefront. Um, but also then the mechanics of Magic the Gathering. Um, so it, it, I think it's great. It makes me feel like I'm part of a larger community. And the idea that uh, something as subtle as that the characters could find its way into a word problem on a website, I thought was pretty neat. So let me know what you think. Have you encountered any Magic the Gathering trivia or Magic the Gathering lingo um, in something completely unrelated to Magic the Gathering? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but regardless, hey, thank you so much uh, for listening, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.